and welcome to TTV News with some latest events in the province. And now, coming to details. Ladies and gentlemen, on November 22nd, the delegation of the Central Committee of Vietnam Women's Union, led by Mit Tôn Ngọc Hán, alternate member of the Party Central Committee, Vice Chairwoman of Vietnam Women's Union, was at the People's Committee of Hoa Hiệp Cameroon on the implementations of the national target program for ethnic minorities and mountainous areas in 2022. Implementing the national target program for ethnic minority and mountainous areas, Hoa Hiệp Commune regularly cooperates with mass organizations to take care of ethnic minorities such as considering loans for more than 110 households with an amount of over 2 billion Việt Nam Dung, supporting health insurance costs of over 3 million Việt Nam Dung for Khmer women, supporting 5 million Việt Nam Dung per ethnic member with interest-free loans. In addition, from the budget allocated to 2025, Tung Binh District has built a concentrated clean water station in the commune of over 3 billion Việt Nam Dung and implemented the construction of a crematorium in 2023 for the Khmer ethnic group with the amount of 3.5 billion Việt Nam Dung. Speaking at the meeting, Ms. Tung Ngọc Hàn acknowledged and appreciated the efforts of Tung Binh District and Hoa Hiệp Commune in taking care of women and children in ethnic minority areas. She also suggested the unions at all levels continue to promote the work of caring for and supplementing necessary skills for ethnic women in taking care of children, building a happy family and using loans appropriately. Local leaders are interested in creating conditions for women in their work, building female carers and members with health, knowledge, responsibility for themselves, their families and society. Also on November 22nd, the Storing Committee 3516 of Provincial Party Committee coordinated with Bunko District Party Standing Committee to hold a conference to propagate the results of land border, democration, and landmark planting between Vietnam and Cambodia. The Congress implemented the basic, core, meaningful, and important contents of two legal documents, including the Supplementary Treaty for the 1985 National Border Planning Treaty and the 2005 Supplementary Treaty for the Protocol of Land Border Demarcation and Landmark Planting between the Socialist Republic of Vietnam and the Kingdom of Cambodia. Enforcement responsibility of citizens, achievements of demarcation and landmark planting, as well as some outstanding results in the bilateral cooperation relationship between Tenen and the provinces bordering Cambodia in the last time, key tasks to focus on implementing in the coming time. Earlier on November 21st, the Propaganda and Training Department of the Provincial Party Committee held a meeting of reporters in November 2022. The meeting mentioned the Symposium Hanoi de Info in the air, will and belief in inevitable win, some thematic information, some orientations on innovative startup activities in the province, the current situation in U.S. and recent relations between Vietnam and U.S., forecast the situation in U.S and orientation of Vietnam-U.S. relations in the coming time, results of the visit to China by General Secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Vietnam, Nguyễn Phú Trọng, results of the first official visit to Cambodia by Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính and a high-ranking Vietnamese delegation, for orientation in December, the Propaganda and Training Department asked districts, towns, and cities to focus on propagandizing to a large number of officials, party members, and people on upwards of life, the contents related historical significance and lessons learned from victory of Hanoi Dinh Minh Phu in the air, external affairs, and activities of the party and state leaders. Resolution of the SIG Plenum of the 13th Party Central Committee and important resource of the fourth session of the 15th National Assembly. In order to better match people's travel, production, and trainings, recently the city has been making efforts to focus on investing in upgrading and expanding many inner city traffic routes and alleys in the area. 
Currently in Hibden World, there are 14 traffic routes being upgraded and renovated, with a total investment of nearly 64.3 billion Vietnam. This road will be asphalted with a full range of technical infrastructure items, rainage system, sidewalks, and lights. Thereby, it has received the agreement and enthusiasm of the households. The site clearance is granted by the locality to perform well and timely handover to the construction unit. To achieve that result, in addition to the leadership and direction of the Hamlet Committee, Hymnan World Authorities also has the consensus, support and good observance of the households on the routes. Since then, it has helped the construction process to be convenient and speed up the completion of the works. Currently, the roads are being urgently implemented by the construction unit to be completed and put into use soon. Turn to other news. Tenant Ari Cultural Extension Center on November 22nd have a seminar on grazing reactive crops with the participation of nearly 70 farmers from Yumen Yau and Tung Bing districts, Hoa Thanh Thao and Tenant City. Under the number of herds is still modest compared to traditional livestock. Recently, the field of raising goats has been interested by many rural households, with some households raising the total herd to more than 100 heads, selling more than 50 heads per year. Race rice in Tinan are Betau, Barbary, and Pearl goats, in which Pearl Fred has more advantages chosen to rise in large numbers. At the seminar, the farmers were able to discuss with the staff of Agricultural Extension Center, veterinary agency, and goat rising households about rising techniques, issues that need to be concerned from the establishment of the farm, selection of race, the caring process, reproductive support, disease prevention. Many questions were explained, creating peace of mind for households wishing to set up goat farms in the coming time. Recently, Cầm Thắng Primary School, Cầm Giang Camille Gò Dầu District held the ceremony to receive the Certificate of Recognition of the school meeting the Level 1 National Standard. The school has 10 solid classrooms and 9 functional rooms with a playground, full burn field, training ground, green trees, green clean, beautiful bonsai, according to regulations, built on an area of nearly 9,800 square meters. The school has strong activities of party cells and mass organizations, with a total of 22 officials, employees, and teachers. 100% of administrators and teachers are qualified and above standards. The school focuses on improving the sense of responsibility, innovating teaching methods for students who complete the primary program at 100%. In addition, the school performs well the socialization of education, such as mobilizing sponsors to contribute to the construction of material facilities, educational equipment to improve the educational efficiency of the school. At the ceremony, authorized by the chairman of the Provincial Appeals Committee, Mr. Bui Tung Hai, Deputy Director of the Provincial Department of Education and Training, awarded the Certificate of Recognition of the Level 1 National Standard to the school's management board. Ladies and gentlemen, implementing the resolutions on agriculture, farmers, and rural areas adopted at the seven sessions of the 10th plenum of the Central Party Committee has produced many outstanding results, contributing to improving the lives of farmers and rural residents. The rural experience has been changing profoundly in the directions of becoming more and more modern and civilized. However, the process of developing agriculture, farmers, and rural areas still has limitations and inadequacies. In the province, agriculture has been the priority's investment field in the process of implementing the national target program on building new countryside. Over the past time, the province has many solutions to develop commensurate with the manufacturing industry. 
Internet profits, the agricultural sector annually contributes from 25% to 41% of GDP for the whole province. Meanwhile, this area only reaches 6% to 13% of the total investment capital. This is an unreasonable thing which needs to be overcome in the direction of increasing investment capital from the budget for agriculture. Since Tenen started implementing the national target program on building a new rural area in 2010, the level of investment in agriculture tends to increase. In terms of capital structure in agriculture, there is a clear trend. In 2010, investment capital source from the state accounted for 24%, capital from the non-state sector accounted for 45%, and foreign direct investment capital accounted for 3%. The Nen province has many solutions to change the structure of investment capital in the agricultural sector. Up to now, the proportion of capital sources are respectively 14% of state, 58% of non-state, and 28% of foreign direct investment. The role of the people is readily confirmed in each commune building a new countryside. The organization of the Grassroots Farmers Association plays an important role in propagating and mobilizing farmer members to join hands in response to the movement of building a new countryside. Currently, the terms of production organizations in the agricultural sector in the Nen province include household economy. In the province, there are about 147,000 farming households engaged in agricultural production using about 184,000 hectares of agricultural land. The household economy in the Nen province annually contributes about 55% of the agricultural production value. For farm economy, there are now more than 1,000 farms in operation in the province using about 10,000 hectares of agricultural land. Every year, it contributes about 12% of the agricultural production value. Enterprises operating in the agricultural sector in the province annually contribute about 25% of the agricultural production value. Regarding the cooperative economy, the average annual revenue of each cooperative is 1,300 million Vietnam dong. The average annual profit is 174 million Vietnam dong. In addition, in the province, there are cooperative groups in the field of agriculture. The average annual revenue of a cooperative group is 300 million Việt Nam Dung. The average profit is 37 million Việt Nam Dung per cooperative group. Cooperation economy contributes about 8% of agricultural production value. People have also noticed many benefits as participating in the collective economic model. Due to the unstable rise of agricultural products, agricultural materials is too high. The board of directors of the cooperative have the meeting with the district agricultural department, the agricultural extension station, the plant protection station, the engineers of local group to send technicians to support farmers how to reduce costs, apply microorganic fertilizers, reduce chemical fertilizers, reduce costs by 20 to 25 percent increase productivity, farmers are very rest assured to accommodate the cooperative. Tenen province is looking for solutions for agricultural services to develop commensurate with the manufacturing industries. The average row rate of agricultural services is currently 18% per year. In the last time, the labor force participating in agricultural service activities in the province is still very thin and has not met the conditions, such as extensive professional qualifications. Therefore, it is necessary to have adequate policies to encourage agricultural consulting activities, other policies on land and credit, encourage the development of farm economy and cooperation economy, and turn agriculture into an important economy, contributing to the completion of the national target program on building new rural areas in the Nen province. That's all for today, TTV News. Thanks for watching and see you next time.